what is up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Shantiera if you did not know if you are new here welcome if not welcome back um so you guys today I decided to do a updated curly hair routine because I haven't done one in a while and my curly hair routine has changed so much not necessarily the products that I use but the techniques that I use have changed and I'm also diffusing now y'all what I never used to diffuse my hair because I always felt like well anytime I tried I just didn't do it right it was always frizzy and like a mess but I learned how to diffuse my hair so <laughs> y'all we diffuse it now but so yeah I my techniques have changed um so I just wanted to do an updated curly hair routine and I have a TikTok now and everybody's been asking me to do like the tutorial and it's kind of hard to do a tutorial within one minute I did try but I just felt like it wasn't good enough so I decided to do a full updated curly hair routine because I feel like lately my curls have just been a one they have been thriving honey thriving um i just hit my four years since i big chopped um so yeah like i just really wanted to show you guys my updated curly hair routine sorry i'm keep talking with my hand but anyways i'm super excited because my hair turned out so freaking bomb as you guys can see so if you guys would like to see how i get my curls to look so good just keep on watching okay so we're just gonna jump right into this video i'm going to be showing you guys my curly hair routine um like i said in the intro um it's been a minute since i <laughs> done a um updated like curly hair routine and i've been doing something different and i've been loving it i feel like my hair has been coming out so bomb lately so like super bomb lately so um we're just gonna section off um, our hair so I like to work in sections when I do my curly hair routine just because I feel like you get the best results when you do that um, I also like to work on my hair while it is soaking wet so I'm just gonna wet it down because my hair did dry some with being out of the shower for a while so and then you want to make sure that your hair is detangled so I'm just gonna brush through that um, but yeah like I said I feel like my curly hair routine has changed a lot um, not necessarily the products, but just like the technique that I use. And then also I diffuse my hair now. I've become a person who is a fan of diffusing. Um, cause living in Chicago, like honey, we've been having two degree weather with like, um, what is it called when you get like negative 15 windshields type? Sh no. And air drying is a no, no. So I looked up and I searched on youtube how to diffuse my hair and i've been doing that lately and it's been coming out so cute but anyways um so yeah you want to make sure that your hair is soaking wet not i mean i guess not soaking soaking wet but wet enough because um i feel like if when your hair is um pretty wet like soaking wet like wet um you get better product um just like your products distribute better um and also it prevents frizz, at least in my case. I feel like when you style your hair wet, you get like, it eliminates frizz basically. Um, so the products that I'm gonna be going in with, which both are pretty freaking empty because I need to re-up. Um, so, excuse me. I've kind of been going between two leave-ins, but I'm using this one because my other one I ran out of. I probably should have went shopping and got all my products before I did this video, but whatever. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna be using the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Cream. The other one that I normally you like to use is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In. Um, that's been one of my favorites for a long time. And then also this is an OG for me. So I'm gonna be using this. And then also this is another OG that I've been using for forever is the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And I feel like every curly girl have tried this product. So y'all know <laughs> if you know you know but i feel like every curly girl has used this at some point in their journey um so yeah so now like i said those sections are completely wet we're gonna go in first with the leave-in um i'm gonna take about like this much on each section and then i'm just going to break that through my hair i do have my mirror here so i'm gonna be looking but um but yeah, I like to put my products in in a raking motion, just like rake them through your strands and just kind of like massaging them. And when you do, I feel like when you do this, it helps you kind of um, train like your cuticles to go like down, which helps like 
eliminate frizz as well i don't know if that makes sense but like you're just smoothing the cuticle which um all those little frizzy hairs that want to pop up and stuff like you're tra you're like training them to stay down when you do this <laughs> oh that makes sense i'm like horrible at explaining things but um and then next we're gonna go in with the smoothie and this is a thicker product and my hair is on a thinner side so i don't use as much but we're just gonna take that and we're just gonna smooth that through as well But I'm not, um, I'm not, like, I'm pretty generous with the products that I use because I feel like that helps um, with eliminating frizz as well. Um, so after I have the products in my hair, I, the way I like to style my hair now, it's a technique that I learned on TikTok. So <laughs> you literally just take it and then you curl and what this does it pretty much clumps your curls together and give you super like defined curls like do you guys see that like and that's um like this technique has literally been a game changer for me like so we take it i go underneath and i start to curl it it's almost like if you were using like a flat ironer, like a flat iron to curl your hair, how you would like clamp your flat ironer and then you just start curling it down and then you shake. And like, do you guys see this definition? Let me get up close. Look at the definition that I get with my curls. <laughs> so I'm obsessed with it. But like I said, it, it does um, cause shrinkage. So a lot of people, if you don't like shrinkage this might not this might not be the technique for you but i feel like there's ways of kind of like um elongating your hair like once it's dry which i like i've found a way to like make the back of my hair look a little bit longer like when i'm fluffing so um i don't mind it but like i said it's just like okay it's like definition over shrinkage like do you want super divine curls or do you want like you know you gotta pick your poison basically <laughs> um so yeah i'm just rubbing these products through my hair like i said um in a raking motion making sure that each strand is completely um covered and then we're going to go out curl her down shake and i feel like when you um like I like to brush my hair like out away from my scalp because I feel like that um, creates volume within the curls. So yeah, so that's how I get my super defined. And then also like I feel like this has taken place for finger coiling for me because I used to finger coil my hair. Although I do still kind of finger coil it in the middle of my hair because it's so dry and I've I have a dry spot that I've yet to figure out how to get rid of. <laughs> so even cutting all my hair off, it didn't go away. I don't know what it is or what it, what it like, um, like what causes it. But I feel like I deep condition my hair all the time. I'm consistently doing treatments, things like that, like things that is supposed to like help my hair. But like that middle section, Mm -hmm. so yeah i'm basically about to continue to style my hair i'm probably just gonna let you guys watch and not talk so much through it because if not it's gonna take forever and we don't want this video to be super long so i'm literally going to just go ahead and um speed through the rest of this
And now um, we're gonna fluff. And basically what I do is I go underneath my hair and I start to just pull out. I'm gonna take this ring off because it's literally pulling at my curls. But yeah, I just go underneath and pull my hair until it gets bigger. And usually like first day hair, oh, my rings are pulling at my curls, they're gonna stuck. Okay. And usually like first day hair, it doesn't get as big as I would like want it, you know? But um I just keep going in there and just like giving it that volume like you guys can tell like it's getting bigger and then i just keep doing that and like and this is the most i manipulate my hair like on my first day because i don't like it obviously to get frizzy and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna start separating like these huge clumped curls and that's what gives it more for now but yeah we just sit here and we do this <laughs> over how long it takes to get our hair to look how we want it to look mm -hmm. oh my god my hair looks so fucking good i mean my hair looks so good <laughs> okay you guys okay i'm not gonna manipulate it too much more i'm just gonna go ahead and um you know i'm gonna leave it like this i don't usually touch the front curls because i like those to be super defined versus you know like the back of it can be a little bit more free <laughs> i don't know which word like what words i'm trying to use but yeah so yeah you guys um so yeah, this is literally the finished product. Um, I'm gonna turn my rings back on. Okay. Okay, so yes guys, this is literally the finished product. I'm so happy with it and I'm, I'm loving my new routine. I feel like it gives my hair so much freaking definition and my curls just look so bomb. They look healthy, they look shiny. Yeah, my, my hair is just has been giving me so much life lately and i'm obsessed i just literally hit my 
four years since I did the chop, which I did on this channel. So if you haven't seen that, y'all can go watch that. I mean, it was four years ago. So don't talk about the quality of the video, but you know. Um, yeah, it's been four years since I did my big chop, and I feel like my I like it was the best decision I've ever made in my life. And I say this all the time, like it was literally the best decision that I made in my life when it comes to my hair because I was always one of those people that felt like my hair had to be straight like to fit in especially in high school it was like a thing for your hair to be straight and I never knew what my curls looked like until after I gave birth to my daughter and I started to see like like okay I got kind of a curl pattern here but it ain't what it should be you know and then I started watching YouTube videos and doing research and stuff and I decided to chop it off and and now we're here four years later my hair looks freaking amazing and i'm so happy um but yeah this is my updated my updated curly hair routine if you guys like it please give it a big thumbs up you know comment subscribe let me know um down below any videos that you guys would like to see i know i didn't show you guys my diffusing routine so if you guys would like to see that just let me know and i will definitely post that for you guys um and yeah just you know do your thing subscribe i'm trying so hard to reach 500 subscribers so if you guys are seeing this video and you're not subscribed please 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 subscribe <laughs> um and then yeah that's it so i will see you guys in my next video bye